Hi everyone, it's Alexander Heiberg here in Wiener Neustadt in Austria. It's a city not far from Vienna and I'm here for the, the final round of the ETS series, the Euro Touring series, which is held here behind me in this building. It's called um, Arena Nova, which is a big sports facility uh, used for exhibitions and stuff and I'm gonna show you what's going on inside and what the track looks like. It's a super nice facility, uh, perfect for this kind of size of event. And uh, we have a real nice uh, track restaurant here, food being served. Hi guys, Hello. you're doing a great job. And uh, great Austrian food being served here. Here we have the track, one of the biggest indoor tracks that I've seen, it's about 18 or 19 second laps in the slower classes, 15 second laps in modified. You can see how, how big the track is here behind me. And, uh, this race has 280 entries in 6 classes, so that's touring car modified. Touring car stock, 21.5 stock, um, Masters, Formula and front wheel drive. And we're gonna enter the pits here. A lot of guys here watching the race. Hi! And um, a lot of things going on. We got Formula cars on the track right now. These cars are running with foam tires. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on in the pits. Hello! Two minutes to drive. Big pits here, uh, more food being served here. We got a lot of racing teams, but also a lot of hobbyists, uh, private racers. We got the Iris team over here. What's up, guys? Hello. I'm just doing a little pit walk, trying to talk to all the teams this time, not only my own. Not only your own, that's very nice of you. So, um, how are you guys doing? Awesome. Your team is growing, I see. Yeah, it's going forward. We have some issues and some stuff which are going good, some is going so so, but it's part of the game. So I expect a late charge in the front wheel drive class? Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. We all expect okay. this. <laughs> okay, good luck. Thank you. And uh, we got a few tables of x ray here. Hello. And um, obviously, one of the bigger teams is the x ray team. All these guys are from our team, the X-Ray team. Hello guys. Hi. How's it going? This is Patrick from Austria. Hi. Would you like to say something about the race? The race? The race is uh, obviously really nice here. It's a huge track, so much high grip. It's a lot of fun to drive. I would like to see it next year also. You know, Wiener Neustadt. Hopefully we get a new event here. This is uh, your home club? It's my home club. Uh, we have organized, say, uh, organized side with Uwe and Sasha Kluge, everything here. And we, I think we, and we hope we, had a, we make a good work for all the stuff here and hopefully everybody is happy here. I think the food is excellent here. Yes. So hopefully we see you guys here. Next year, ETS here in Wiener Neustadt. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Uh, I think the event is really amazing. Everything is on point. One of the best tracks that I've seen indoor. Obviously, the food and the facility is great. So, um, good job and uh, I wish you the best of luck for your race. Thank you. You too. And we got more X-ray guys over here. These, these guys are, are busy eating. You are too busy eating, you're not working? Not, no, we're ready. Eating more than you're working? Or? Yes, we are ready okay. for everything. Adam with his front wheel drive, ready to rock. Current pole sitter in this class. What What is your expectation for the rest of the race? It's hopefully the same like you want and you do, and a bit better in stock. <laughs> well, I have full trust in you, so uh, yeah, good luck. Thank you. This is uh, Gerge Hi. from Hungary as well. Hi. How's it going? I sit in the second place with Fronti and eight place nine. Still nine stop. I can see you're pushing Adam hard in Fronti. Yes, I will try. So um, I hope that you can beat him. Something I will try. 
and keep up the good work. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, more racers down here. These are all X-ray guys. Some British racers over here. Uh, Harley from the UK doing extremely well so far. Um, I think your A main is pretty safe. What do you think? Really happy. So um, really happy for you and um, for your whole family, obviously. Oh, super proud. Um, with your help, we're in, um, and obviously the team is working as a whole. Um, but the best feeling and proud moment for a father is if she makes it into the A-Main, which I think we're pretty safe. Um, but we're not going to stop and hope that we're in the A. We want to be in the A, so we're going to go out and try again in the next round to improve our scores. And awesome. hopefully do the best we can. So the ETS obviously is a very high level of competition. Um, the highest level of competition in Europe in any race series, I would say. Oh, I agree. I think if you want to improve yourself, uh, I think you have to race the best in the world. And this is something that we spoke about as a family and said that to get better or for Harley to improve and to me to improve my understanding of the car that we need, you have to be with the best in the world. Awesome. So uh, would you recommend these kind of races to, to people out there in Europe? 100%. I think they're missing out. I think if you want, as a youngster, you want to be with your stars and you want to admire and see them and meet them and, and obviously become them in the future, you, you almost have to attend these sort of race meetings. Sitting at a club is great and being a winner at the club, but there's no better feeling than watching the best in the world at an ETS race. Yeah. And not only is it very competitive, but also the atmosphere is, is really good, I think. Yeah, it's, it's great to obviously you know be here as a family but you come here as a social event as well and that adds to the atmosphere because everyone is like obviously Harley's doing very well but it's just the pats on the back you get saying well done as a family not just Harley getting a pat on the back it's myself and my wife yeah and that that says to me this is RC family it's yeah. not a, we're against them so it's not only very competitive but very nice atmosphere that's the best atmosphere. I totally agree. So, best of luck and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Got Team Denmark over here, Team Italy. This is represented by Flavio. How's it going, guys? Going well? From the beginning, it's very well now. I'm fighting for the B main. I know you chose to race the, the real stock class, not the, the master's yes, class. Yes, yes. I'm 21st um, now in the ranking. Looking what is happening to me in the beginning. <laughs> so going really well, right? Yes. And you found a spare radio, I heard. Yes, yes. I use a thank you of the team. Uh, it's very you know, the Austrian team in Slay. They, they give me a new radio so I can I can drive. And... Okay. Great. Good luck. Thank you. We got Christian here and uh, Patrick from Denmark. Would you like to say something about the race? Awesome. Good luck in the next two qualifiers. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna keep walking here and talk to some more guys. There's all X-ray guys on this table, and uh, we're gonna keep walking down, see if we can find some more teams over here. We got Automatics, Team Giacomo, Team Schumacher. We got um, Michael Orlovsky over here. Would you like to say something about the ETS series? It's really cool and we have a very nice track here and uh, we've been doing it for a long time so it's always nice to be racing at ETS and uh, I hope you know it continues for a very long time and uh, hopefully you'll be here with us next season as well. I hope so. I mean I think the, the level of competition obviously is very high but also the atmosphere is, is great. Yeah. Um, really a lot of nice people and um, I feel really happy and welcome here. So. I'm sure I'll be back. And uh, you're doing very well, obviously, yeah. with your uh, brand new Schumacher car. 
Yeah, it's going well. The car is not out yet, uh, so we're hiding it from the from the pictures. But hopefully soon it will be released to the public. Okay. So um, keep up the good work and uh, good luck. Thank you. We got Team Mugen over here. We got Automatics. Automatics down here. Hi guys. Hey, what's up? I'm doing a little pit walk. Can I talk? Can I talk to you guys? Maybe. Lucas, would you like to say something? Sure. Uh, about uh, about ETS and uh, the race and how's it going? Yeah, going good so far. I mean, the, the track is fantastic. It's one of the best layout we got. The traction is a little bit weird. It's a bit of a challenge for anyone, but um, apart from that, it's really good fun. Enjoy a lot. So as always, the level of competition is very high, but also the atmosphere. I think it's it's great and relaxed. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, the the, the level is. We have Michal on a class of his own, but I think behind is, is pretty light between you, myself, Simon, so it's yeah. wide open, I guess. I think the fight for um, the second and third place is uh, yeah. real close and yeah, um, should be enjoyable for the rest of the week. Yeah, definitely. Um, Looking forward to uh, battle it out. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. So, best of luck for the remaining two qualifiers. Thank you, you too. The same Great to time. you, Mark. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. And um, we got the ETS crew over here. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Uwe. Alex. Good to have you back to the family. This is Uwe is the man behind ETS. Um, 50%. 50% is sitting there. And obviously <laughs> Scott is very much involved as well. Um, are you happy with the ETS final so far? Uh, wonderful. I think it's the best indoor event we ever had in our life. I think yeah. So. I think yeah. the track you is. Think too? The track's amazing. Track uh, amazing. Food amazing. I really like the food. Um, That's good. The hall is perfect. Very good light, and the track is super flat. So that's very, that's very important. Ladies are happy. We are happy. So uh, thank you for your time, and uh, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And fourteen coming up. Scotty Ernst here on the mic, obviously. I think everybody knows Scotty. Yeah. And he's obviously a big part of the ETS series as well. So I just want to show guys what's going on here at the race and uh, talk to some people. So you're obviously busy, but I just want to say thank you and that it's good to be here. Uh, thanks, Alex. It's great to have you here. Uh, world champion of your caliber always adds uh, something a little special to having the ETS. And great to have you and a bunch of the gang back racing with us. A lot of, a lot of fun, a great weekend, and uh, you're doing well. So best of luck. Great to have you here. Thank you, Scotty. All right, thanks, Alex. Okay, we're gonna right, race 14, keep walking here. Got the timekeeping guys here. Good morning. Hartmut and Peter. Everything under control, I think. Everything going well, of course. And I'm gonna keep walking further down here. We got RC Racing TV and Patrick. Obviously, a big part of the ETS series as well. How's everything going so far? Yeah, everything is going very good so far. Saturday with uh, qualifying in full full action here, and uh, yeah, expecting a great show today, and also one round of AMAs in the evening. Yeah, that's uh, very exciting. We're looking forward to that, and I know that you're doing a very good job with the reports on social media. You're currently yes. busy. I yes. can see working on something here. Yes, I worked on your on your report. Actually, my chest is focused, so yes, yes. that's good timing <laughs> that I managed to see that. <laughs> but yeah, I think everybody's really happy with uh, the work you're doing on social media. It's very important that people back home can follow the race and see yes. what's going on, yeah. and makes the status of the race higher as well. So that's really cool. Yeah, we're trying our best to to carry out the sport to the public and. And we hope that everybody likes it. Uh, I really like it personally, but I'm sure other people do too. So, thank you for your hard work and uh, best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, thank you. Good luck for you. Thank you, guys. And uh, we have front wheel drive cars on the track right now. This is a very popular class. It's been growing in the last few years. Uh, a lot of fun to drive, pretty easy to drive good for uh, hobbyists as well and uh, pack drivers stand here even some female racers which is cool and like I said earlier the facility is really nice because the 
The lighting is very good, which to me is very important at an indoor facility, that the lights are good. The track is super flat because of the concrete floor. And uh, that concludes my pit walk. I'm going to go and work on my car to get it ready for Q3. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching this pit walk.